Hello everybody, my name is Miss Ray Ray and welcome to Discovering Fandoms, where I take fandoms that you have maybe either only seen or slightly heard of and explain them in a non spoilery way if you want to get to know more about them. And today's Discovering Fandom is going to be a little bit different, mostly because it's not Friday, which is usually when I want these to come out. And also because this is not going to be the genre of which I said in the last one it would be because it is Valentine's Day or almost going to be Valentine's Day by the time I put this up. So I thought I would do a special little Happy Hearts Day edition to Discovering Fandoms and this is going to be somewhat unsolicited, unsolicited promotion for this fandom that I am about to tell you guys, but it's an absolutely amazing fandom and it kind of sticks to the theme of Happy Hearts Day. So what I'm going to talk about today is the webcomic Love Not Found. Love Not Found is a webcomic you can find on the interwebs and it is created by the artist Gina Biggs, who is from America and has been creating comics for 20 years. And what this comic is about is it is a story about a young woman who is living in a time where touching, the act of physically touching other people, has become a very outdated concept. And this is somewhat sci-fi as she has recently moved to a new planet and finds that touching may not be such a bad idea. And now she's sort of on a quest to find someone who also doesn't think that physically touching someone isn't as old-fashioned as it is in this universe. The two main characters of this webcomic is Ediel, maybe? I'm not sure if it has the accent or not. I'm just going to start calling her Abby from now on. She is the one on this quest to find someone she can physically touch. She just moved to this new planet of Monotropa, which it's kind of a gardening planet from her home world of Pask, which is an icy planet. So you can see that there's going to be a big change to her environment. And she now works for Eyebright Industries with the plans to become a gardener. The other main character is named Miel, and he already works at Eyebright Industries. He is in the logging department, which I don't know what that is, but I'm pretty sure it's an important department. He is very smart. He is a workaholic and he is a very kind person. He is a lot like a lot of us who tends to ramble on when he's discussing a subject that he loves. There's also like so many other characters that I could talk about for days, but that would be getting into spoilers, and I want you guys to check out this comic for yourself. But just know that these, this is a super diverse cast, um, not just with skin tones, but with a whole, just a whole bunch of uniquenesses, and I am super happy about that. I don't see that a lot of places. Go figure. The comic, I feel, is super well drawn. The aesthetics of it is amazing and from the get-go I was like instantly drawn in from the characters and the world building and the concept that touching in the future is very outdated which is a super weird thing to think about. Actually I'm pretty sure Gina was talking about the world in some blog saying that it's not really a future world, it's more like a parallel, or it's like more in the future of a parallel world. It, this world is super accepting of gender identities and different sexualities, and I find that super refreshing, um, along with, be with it being a super diverse cast and that not even being a problem. All of the characters in here are amazing and they have their own quirks, and I love them all so much. I had something else to talk about. I can't remember what now. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to talk about. I was going to talk about the fact that this comic has the concept that touching is outdated and actually almost kind of the society sees it as repulsive 
um, which is a super weird concept to think about initially, but then you get into it and it's almost kind of like normal. And I really love that because not only does it show concepts in its world that makes you think about our own world, but it also shows, at least to me, how there are other ways other than physical touch that you can show your love and appreciation for your significant other or for other people you genuinely care about. It's, it was amazing. It actually opened up my eyes a lot and I love this comic for showing me that so much. That's probably going to be all I can say that's what's going to be new because all I keep, all I can keep saying is how much I love the characters and the universe and the story and all of that. What I'm going to do is instead of linking to my Patreon at the end, I'm going to link to hers so you um, can help support her, um, Gina Biggs, if you so choose. I'm going to put the link in, um, the link of the first page of the first chapter, the very beginning of this comic, uh, in the very first line of the description, so you don't even have to really look for it. Um, and I super recommend you guys check out this comic. It is super lovely. You'll love the characters. And I love the fact that this thing exists at all. So thank you so much for watching. I very, very much appreciate it. Have a happy heart stay to all of you. And I will see all of you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.